Hi there. I've just come back from holiday in Palawan and I'm using the GoPro Studio app to go th to, to import it. Can't import it under Linux, sadly, so I had to use uh, my wife's Ma uh, MacBook Pro. And I've got GoPro, GoPro Studio here running. Many of these uh, JPEGs I took using uh, with the ProTune enabled. And I can't work out how to edit them. Um, I click edit here, I've got a template, but how do I input, how do I um, edit just the JPEG? I, I, I think it's obviously convert. Uh, it seems to be able to edit obviously uh, a, 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 mov, uh, a video file, but I, I want to be able to, to color grade um, just a single JPEG. So when you're taking lots of pictures, uh, even if it's not on a time lapse, GoPro Studio seems to um, sort of group them as a as a video bizarrely. And and say you take a good picture, say you take a good picture like that one, and you and you want to export it. Um, I have no idea how you do that. There's no option to do that. Okay, so first issue, um, no ability to protune a, um, to sort of edit a, J, uh, a protein JPEG. No ability to um, sort of export or favorite a still that you, that that sort of uh, uh, Go, GoPro Studio um, sort of um, stitches together there. Um, another problem. Um, on the movie side of things is okay. I, great. I've discovered that you can favorite bits of the video. That's awesome um, And now I have these markers here, but I can't see these markers in FF uh, uh, Pro um, So I'm, I'm wondering how, how If it works in Premiere Pro at all if I sort of input the video does the markers show up? I have to test that Another irritating thing about this sort of import view is that you can't I mean, I'm such a I'm a very simple guy. Maybe a little bit too simple, or maybe I'm asking too much. I just want to see everything grouped as a as a time series, uh, as a timeline. Um, for example, some of the obviously the the, the MP4s are here are, are appearing after the JPEGs, and hence I'm I'm sort of like getting some, you know, cognitive dissonance here, and confusion basically because they're they're not in order. I'm going through the JPEGs and then, oh, the MP4s are not in order. It's, it's just so bad. So bad. So I'm, I'm interested to know how people actually overcome. I, I, do, I do like the interface in some ways. Like it's quite easy to move through the, the, the images like this. Um, but there's no way to sort of say, oh, I like this picture and move on. It's sad. Also, um, I mean, it's great for JPEGs, but MP4 playback, I've, I feel, is a little bit slow. It's a bit choppy compared to playing it with the, the native Mac OS X uh, video player. Oh, I wish GoPro Studio was a lot better than it is. It's kind of awful. Kind of terrible. So, I hope that gets you started.